Hello, this is Victor at RestoryMercedes.com. This video is for Stefan in California. <laughs> Stefan, so this is the second part for your door lock and pump check and repair. Now, I usually don't do these things because it just kind of... Uh, it, usually the pumps on 220 chassis, we're talking about 220 chassis. It's um, S600 here, 2003. Um, it's just because there's so many variables with these pumps and to fix them might not be it might not be actually very easy and there are so many issues that can go wrong but anyway long story short is this this is my pump this is 2003 pump your pump seems to be 2000 to 2002 it appears to be so because um, I don't I don't check by part numbers but it appears to be the early production pump and let's see if I can get the part number 0348 the last four digits top right corner so as you can see minus 0748 these pumps they were superseding one another so maybe um, you know this pump is probably the early style but anyway this is your pump it's in there um, your pump seem to have regular trunk with the handle my trunk is hydraulically assisted so my pump is programmed differently from your pump so I cannot show you the trunk assist but I can show you the soft close on the trunk so what's important here is we want to see the latch we'll start with the latch first of all so let's get the focus going all right so if I hit the latch it goes and let's go that, that slight release that's very important the seconds of the release so let's just unlock it and no we cannot unlock it i have to push the button okay i'm pushing it. that's unlock so this circuit works again because i have no handle and this is hydraulic trunk the programming is different so i can't uh, test it the way i would want to test it but most important situation here is the soft close um, i got the pump working for door locks okay locks will, will go on up and down uh, the soft close was not working so i had to take it apart again and now again the key here is the release the release is that the door has been pulled and then it's been pulled for a few seconds and then it should come back out so this is what's important so let's just show that one two three three second rule this is ideal <clears throat> that's my rule and it works the best all right second door one two three three seconds release that's excellent pretty much that's like a new pump another door yeah i have my jammy and in a tank top so <laughs> One, two, three. The reason I'm wearing all this stuff is because it's my day off, to be honest with you, but I still have to do some work. One, two, three, off. This is excellent. Now, door locks. Let's go get the keys. Where are the keys? Let's take a look at keys. <coughs> it's my day off, so... <coughs> just working on a little vacuum here for the diesel here I never usually do diesels but I just took it for a change took it in for a change okay so door locks uh, door locks one here okay so we can see two of them locking locked unlock works great Let's go over the other side and then we'll go over to listen to pump. Okay, so again, door locks down, up. Door locks work perfectly fine. Now we need to also listen to pump speed. So let's take a look at the pump. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera in there because I wanted to make this quick because I can't so here's the pump no door locks
and it shuts down. Perfect. That's unlock. I'm going to demonstrate the soft close on one of the doors that I can reach. Driver rear. That's also in terms of timing. And it shuts right down. This is this is excellent. So basically, let me do the trunk also. Okay, so here's the trunk. One, two, three. Let's go. Ideal. This is really nice now. And release. Now also, what you would hear is when we close the trunk, soft close happens. The pump shuts down and then it reactivates. So basically it needs to bring the mechanisms back together in a ready state. So at this point, this is perfectly working pump to me. So yeah, we really got lucky on this one because manifold is not melted and none of this stuff. Uh, one thing that I might do to this, I'm thinking of doing that or not, is to deactivate loom bars. Loom bars are these things. Lumbers, loom bars, I don't know how to say it. You know, I have a multi contour seat, but usually there is just a one dial. So one dial is uh, from zero to five. So that is the loom bar. That's this piece right here that inflates. And usually people leave them on one, two, three, four, whatever. So the actual balloon, the uh, airbag that's in behind the leather, it leaks. And then the pump activates, deactivates, activates, deactivates. It does it like a, a couple of thousand times and then the pump burns out. So either um, you leave that at zero or well, actually you know what here yeah, this is how it looks usually this is s600 so it has loom bars in the rear seats as well but I'm keeping mine on zero as well because um, I'm not sure if they leak or not and nobody's in the back seat anyway so it doesn't matter but this is what you want to keep at zero because if you don't and if you have a leak then the pump will burn out um, there's another way of uh, dealing with it is just to reprogram the pump to get rid of lumbar programming in the pump itself. That is another possibility that what can be done. Um, just need to you know ask you about this and ask you if you want me to do that or not. So I'll give you a call we'll talk about it and let's see what happens. Um, because I can connect my computer, I can get rid of the lumbar programming and leave it. So lumbars will never activate, so the pump will remain uh, inactive when lumbar switches are moved from zero to whichever other position they have, from one to three to five or whatnot. So, okay, so this is it for me. Uh, it's been a long time, I'm sorry, it's just that because, like I said, I don't really work on these pumps, I took it in just for a change and because of the prerequisite the 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 baseline the conditions uh, they were met like the pump had working motor it had uh, no molten the manifold itself was not melted it was it was good it was good condition pump create vacuum pressure and everything else seems to be pretty much ideal internally that's why i took it in otherwise when these pumps fail and not all of them can be resurrected very few of them can so this particular one did survive it's great i mean i did what i have to do on it but it is what it is so it's it's good so we can keep this you can have this pump back in the car it should be just fine well of course there are other factors involved here because we can have leaks in your doors the actual actuators inside doors that is a different story because that i cannot i have no control over that for that i do need the car i just know this car this is my girl's car so she drives this thing around and i know my car right so uh, your car i do not know because i had customers i had one car all three except for one the fourth one three and the trunk so basically four actuators were leaking. So obviously the pump could not create enough pressure vacuum, too much leaks. In this case, um, I know my car, this isn't leaking, so we're okay. Um, actually, 
now I know they're not leaking because your pump works perfectly. My pump is leaking, my own pump. It has an issue in there, so I'll deal with it later, but I don't have time for it. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this is Victor, RestoringMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.